Now let's talk about the other main focus I want to talk about on this game. Mike Tomlin. (laughs) Oh boy. Y'all know how I feel about Mike Tomlin. I was out on this dude in Houston last year when the Steelers were down 10 points. With No, I'm sorry. They were down a couple points. I forget how many points, but the Steelers were down one score with 10 minutes left in the game against Houston. And they punted on fourth and two. I was out on Mike Tomlin. Because this is a man who plays not to win games, but to not lose them. There's a difference there. When you play to win games, you play aggressive. When you play to not lose games, you play conservative. Guess what? Mike Tomlin plays conservative. He likes to run the ball when he should be passing. <laughs> Man, all right. Hey, Mike Tomlin's a defensive head coach, okay? Now, I, I I don't give defensive head coaches much grace in this league. Why? Because it's an offensive-driven league. The best teams are driven by offense. Teams win Super Bowls with a high-powered passing offense. And a high-powered offensive coordinator. You know what Mike Tomlin ain't? He ain't a high-powered offensive coordinator. You know what else he don't got? He don't have a high-powered offensive coordinator that can develop an electric passing game. Mike Tomlin's a defensive coordinator who doesn't value the offensive side of the football and believes you can win football games with defense and defense alone. So line that you protect the football. There's some truth to that. But that's not how you win Super Bowls nowadays. When you're a defensive head coach... In 2024, I don't give you much grace because this is an offensive league where the best teams are powered by offense. Okay? Imagine it's all like a cake and the defense is frosting. You can't make a cake without the... How do I describe this? Imagine it's all like a cake. A cake is great with frosting, but you can't have a cake. You can't have frosting and no cake. Can't have a defense if you don't got the offense. You can't, you can't, you can't. If you're playing in a cake making competition, you ain't winning no competition with just the frosting alone. Think of the defense like frosting and the offense as a cake. Steelers don't got cake right now. They just got frosting and their frosting ain't very good either. That's my problem. When you're a defensive head coach in 2024, Your defense, your calling card needs to look good. You know what you can't do? You can't let Rain Dakota Prescott pick apart your defense. Oh, but but D1, Devin, the the, the Steelers' defense had three interceptions today. Dak Prescott threw the ball away three times to the Steelers' defense. Yeah, he also drove down the Steelers' throats like multiple times today. The Steelers' Highest paid in the NFL defense. Let Rain Prescott drive down the throats and throw a game-winning touchdown. Hey, let's remember, Dak Prescott, he's an overpaid quarterback. He doesn't deserve the money he's getting. And you let that guy pick apart your defense. Hey, Mike Tomlin, you can't let that happen. Two weeks in a row, you can't let your defense get picked apart by Joe Flacco and Dak Prescott. Especially if you're a defensive head coach. Like, If you're an offensive head coach, I can give you some grace because it's an offensive league. If you're a defensive head coach, your defense better be stellar because that's what you're getting paid to do. You just got a three-year contract extension, Michael. Your defense can't look the way it did. And I think Steeler fans are finally starting to realize, hey, Mike Tomlin ain't cutting it either. (laughs) I mean... Hey, let's just look at the end of the half, right? Steelers had 50 seconds left. They're down three. They get the ball back after the half, by the way. And what do they do? Three timeouts? Oh, yeah. Let's just run the ball three straight times to drain the clock out and go to halftime. That's your head coach, guys. That's your head coach. Look, let me be very clear about my feelings about this team. And it's been like this the last several months. The Steelers need a regime change. They need a culture change. The Roonies ain't going to sell. So how do you get a regime change? How do you get a culture overhaul without selling the team? You change the head coach. You change the next guy. I like what we got in Omar Khan. He seems to be good at bringing in talent. By the way, let's get Devontae Adams. I like what we got in Omar Khan. Mike Tomlin ain't cutting it. He ain't been cutting it for the last seven years. 
you'd think after seven years of not winning a playoff game, Steeler fans would be critical about Mike Tomlin. No, no, they're not. Let's be very clear. Mike Tomlin's not a good enough head coach. He's not a good enough defensive coordinator. His defenses regularly choke away games. I thought we uh, I thought we had turned a corner early on in the year, but nope. His defense is bad. His defense is bad. Oh, Devin, it's injured. You got a defensive head coach. Like I said, I don't give you much grace there. Your defense needs to be good. That's what you're getting paid to do. You're paid to elevate lesser defensive players to a higher level of play. All right. I, I mean, what are we doing here? We're we're trying to get through 2024 with a run first offense. By the way, the run game is not good at all. Arthur Smith. Y'all told me Arthur Smith was going to be great. That's a guy Mike Tomlin also hired. Mike Tomlin's got no coaching tree either. Mike Tomlin sucks at hiring offensive coordinator. Mike Tomlin sucks at developing quarterbacks. Mike Tomlin sucks with his NFL philosophy. He thinks you can win games just playing defense and protecting the football. That's not how it works nowadays. Not with the Mahomeses. Not with the Lamarses. Not with the Josh Allenses. Uh, like, what are we doing? I went into this year. Really? R- Russell Wilson? Justin, F- that's your answer? Really? You can't develop a young quarterback. Russell Wilson's old and can't move. That's your plan? Really? Meanwhile, Kirk Cousins is absolutely done people up over in Atlanta. Oh, Devin, you can't sign a quarterback who just came off an Achilles injury. Why not? Your other two options ain't so good. Still is a three and two. Firmly second place in the division at this point. Because remember Baltimore, (laughs) Baltimore got division win today. So they lead the Steelers in the AFC North race. When's it going to get better? When's it going to get better? You know what? I'll tell you when it's going to get better. It'll get better when the Steelers jettison Mike Tomlin. Let's be honest. They're going to have to suck for a year, specifically in 2025, because in 2026, we got a really high-level quarterback class. If we can jettison Mike Tomlin this year, suck next year, there's a lot of good Nico Amaliava is a good quarterback. Actually, is he even coming out in 2025, the 2026 draft? 2024, 5, 6. Look, Nico Amaliava is coming out soon. Shadur Sanders is coming out next year. You're not going to be bad enough to get him. There's a really nice quarterback class coming out in 2026. Hey, man, it'd be nice to get one of those guys. Look, y'all know how I feel. You get a superstar quarterback. You bring him up to an NFL level, just like Jaden Daniels, just like Kyler Murray, just like CJ Stroud. You get an offensive coordinator who's good at integrating these young quarterbacks into the NFL. Pretty good at, at, at like building them up to an NFL level, doing things that they like, setting them up to succeed, basically. That's what Bobby Sloak does with C.J. Stroud. That's what Cliff Kingsbury did with Kyler Murray. That's what Cliff Kingsbury is doing with Jaden Daniels right now. Jaden Daniels looks awesome. And the commanders have a hope that Steeler fans can't even dream of right now. You know when things are going to change in Pittsburgh? It's when you get rid of the head coach and you try something new. Now, maybe the next guy ain't going to be it, but it's not... It's not about getting the next guy right. It's about (laughs) setting the standard because the standard freaking sucks right now. If you get rid of Mike Tomlin, you're telling Steeler fans, hey, we're trying to take a step forward. Mike Tomlin's doing good. We appreciate him. But we're trying to take a step forward because right now Mike Tomlin ain't cutting it. He's got to get fired. (laughs) What are we doing? Like when are Steeler fans going to actually realize, hey, we can't keep trying to win football games like this. It ain't working. Like right now, we're looking at a 7 and 10, 6 and 11 team the way we're playing. Plus, we're about to put Russ in there. It's like, what are, oh my God, this team is so dysfunctional. <sighs> you know, when this team gets better, it's when you fire Mike Tomlin, you fire Arthur Smith, you fire Terrell Austin, you suck for a year, you get a really high level quarterback that can elevate the players around him, something Justin Fields can do, something Russell Wilson can do. And you build for the future. That's when this team's going to get better. Like, if you truly believe you're winning a Super Bowl, if you truly believe the Steelers are going to have a top 10 offense with Mike Tomlin running the show, after what you've seen from Mike Tomlin in the last 20 years, 
You're fooling yourself. Straight up, you're fooling yourself. Justin Fields ain't good enough. Russ ain't gonna fix the problem. Mike Tom's not good enough. And Arthur Smith was always the wrong offensive coordinator. I'm Devin Engel. Bring Doug Codges back. Go Steelers.